Hello and welcome back to Raised on a Garden Pantry. Today we're going to make a really fun dessert again. Stick around to see what it is. day here today and I decided let's make this cake and it is called a Shirley Temple cake. Now I was looking at the recipe and it had a lot of butter and things in it. It's basically a pound cake which I love pound cake but it just seemed like it was too rich but quite honestly I couldn't find my two pan to make it. So I decided to make it with cake mix and we'll see how it goes. Let's get started. Now I'm just going to use the cake mix here. Paper <laughs> Snoopy. In this particular cake mix it says to add three eggs now and the oil but what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute the water for the seven up. And, and then the original recipe that I have here says to add two teaspoons of lemon extract, extract and I'll just, sometimes eggs have been really hard to get open. Um, lemon extract to that batter. There's the other egg, it rolled. <laughs> so let's get that going here. And I'm gonna wash my hands. I always, you don't, I, sometimes I don't say it, but I always wash my hands. <laughs> after <laughs> I um, touched those eggs because I have gotten sick from eggs before and it kind of freaks me out. All right, so we're going to use a cup. This particular cake box says a cup of 7-Up. So we'll get that in there. And then two tablespoons, or teaspoons, sorry, of lemon extract. I'm just gonna add that. And this is a half a teaspoon, tablespoon in there, so that's one. All right, we'll dig, put this in here. And then it calls for a half a cup of oil. And then we're gonna mix that up. And while I'm mixing, I'm going to strain a 10 ounce jar of Marchino cherries back here. take this out so now we're going to fold in our um, cherries here we'll save that juice for after it is done Oop, baking all right kind of fold that in there Not too much because then you'll have a <laughs> pink cake I just found this pan at a thrift store. I was so excited. It's one that has the metal lid on it. So I have this. I'm going to spray it really good. Should be good. Okay. Now let me move this stuff out of the way. Let's move this over. And now, then we're just going to put it in our cake pan here. Give it another good stir. And then we will bake it up at 350. Um, what is this one for? Probably 25 minutes, something like that. So we'll get those cherries distributed around. I might have to pick through and get them in or put a few more in. So they're kind of evenly throughout the cake. And then I'm going to bake it up and then I will show you what we do next. All right, I got the cherries all ready, and now I'm gonna bake it up. Okay, so now we're gonna make uh, the glaze to put on this cake after it is done baking. So we need two cups of powdered sugar. Put that in here, in our bowl. And then we need a tablespoon, or a teaspoon, teaspoon of lemon extract and a couple tablespoons, there it is, a couple, probably a 
probably three to four tablespoons of milk. Start with three. And then we're gonna whisk this up together and there will be a glaze that we'll put on top of the cake when it's done. I just wanted to show you something. Look what my neighbor just brought me. Some blueberries that she picked from her yard. Thank you so much. Mm. Guys, here we go. It just came out of the oven. Now, the original direction said to let it cool for 10 to 15 minutes. But I think that has something to do with the... Um, Oh, I can't think today. I think that has something to do with it if you're going to invert it, which I'm not going to. So we're just going to skip that step and we're going to poke holes in here with a skewer. And we're just going to poke holes all over like a poke cake if you've ever made one of those with the jello. And we're just going to poke them all over here. And then we're going to take this juice that we reserved from the cherries and we're going to slowly pour this onto the cake and ooh, this is gonna be good 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 um, I've, I've 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 never ever heard of this cake before and, you know when i'm looking on my pinterest <laughs> anyway all right let's pour this over here slowly i'm using my left hand uh, i don't know if that's gonna work so well let me switch <laughs> I am not left-handed. All right, we're just gonna kind of slowly pour that on there so it gets it in. Cause you want it nice and moist. So, um, has anybody uh, watched Shirley Temple movies? And uh, what's your favorite? I'd like to know. My favorite is The Little Princess and I like Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farms. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. I had a little more juice back here, let me grab it. I want it really moist. <laughs> um, and my other favorite, I can't remember. I think it's, she was an orphan. I can't remember what what it was. Baby, now baby, the baby takes about. I'm not sure. It's about what? Well, isn't she always an orphan or something? Or she goes and lives with somebody, an uncle. <laughs> That's not really. I don't know. It's kind of. Shirley Temple theme. I think she was a, her and her sister were in the orphanage and when they sang the, um, the gra animal crackers in my soup. That was a good one. I can't remember the name. If you remember it, let me know in the comments below so I can go where we watch that movie. All right, so we're gonna let this completely cool and then we'll come back with the glaze. Okay, the cake has completely cooled. Now we're gonna take our icing and we're going to spread it all over our cake here. And then we'll cut a slice and try it. Shirley Temple cake. <laughs> Let's try it. Mmm, that's good. That's really, really good. Let's see if I can get a cherry. There it is. Mmm, that's so good. My kids are going to love this. Mmm, <laughs> that's really good. <clears throat> I would say the frosting, they put lemon extract in it. I don't think it really needs it, to be honest with you. I think if you just made the frosting without that lemon extract, it would taste a little better. So, I don't know. That one tastes bitter. Maybe the extract's old. I don't know. But, mmm. Hope you give this one a try, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.